Okay, so before you wrap up these fundamentals course, I want to talk about some of the commands you can use to manipulate tools. So the tool commands are very similar to the subtool commands. Okay, we can start with tool get active index. And this will give you the active index of the selected tool you have. And if I press tool get active index, so this tool is 48. If I select another tool, tool get active index, this tool is 31. And if I press tool get count, we have 49 tools. Even though you only see five tools here, this, this accounts for all the tools that are available at the moment, the tools that you can append from this menu. So for example, if we want to select the last tool, we can do a tool select, then tool get count, that gives me all the, uh, the tools available, and we do a minus one because tool, tools, there are zero based, just like subtools. So the first tool is gonna to be zero, which means if I had, for example, 10, sub, uh, 10 tools, that means, uh, that means the last tool would be nine. So I would, I would have to say to get count minus one to get the last tool. So the last tool is the last tool you created. So if I select some other tool and I press select last tool, there we go. And it gives me zero because I placed that in a note. So it would give you minus one if the tool would, didn't exist. Now in this button we have these two buttons. We have an option. i just delete this. And I'll get to the folders later. We have an option to save a tool and then import a tool without asking anything from the user. This can be achieved by using file name set next. For example, if I didn't have this and I just use I press tool save as, let me just reload, export tool, this would pop up, right? I already have a tool here, let me let's delete that. This would pop up with uh, with the text, and you might want to do that. So you can use I press tool save as, and then you can use this file name get last used. This is this is going to grab the file that the user used, uh, then the name of the file that the user used to save his tool, and you can place this inside a variable that you can later use if you want to import the save tool again by using again file name set next and then using tool load tool so if you use file name set next before a save as you can actually name the tool okay and if you do this this i press command is not going to make that screen pop up it's just going to save the tool with the name that you pass and then if you want to import it again you can use file name set next and use that saved variable that used file name get last used which is the last used name which was this name in this case and you can load that tool using this command right after so what this would achieve I'm gonna look at it if I just reload this and I'm gonna open up the window where I have the script. This should actually be, be named my script, but hey, my button. It's the name of my script. So if I use that command, export tool, and I'm exporting this tool, and the tool will have the name of the first tool, okay? Every time you export the tool, if you don't pass a name. But let, let's just use this. So I press export tool, file save to disk successfully. There's my tool. And now, if I, I want to import that tool using that command that I showed you, press import tool. Now I have a new tool here and it's exactly what I've exported. So finally, let's look at two special commands that allow you to work with folders. And the first one is subtool get folder index. And this will just give you the folder index. I have a little folder here. Okay. And if I select anything inside my folder and I press get folder index, it will give me the, the index of uh, the folder where this subtool is. If I select that folder, it's like selecting the first subtool as you can see. And if I press subtool get folder name, it will give me the name of the folder. And that's any, any subtool that I have in there. If I press a subtool that doesn't 
it's not inside the folder it's not going to give me nothing just an empty string i get folder index it's not inside the folder so it's going to give me minus one so this is a way you can find out if something is inside the folder or not 